Hello everybody, it's Mary Alda here once again, and welcome back to a big box. It's a 140 size box, and there's one figure in here. <laughs> so, a while, a couple weeks ago, I went on AmiAmi, not expecting to buy anything, and I saw this figure. I've been thinking about her off and on for a while, but like I said, I went on there not expecting to buy anything, and I saw her. This is a pre-owned figure, AB. So basically brand new. And I saw her price and I literally did a double take like that can't be right. That has to be a, a mistake. She was half of the price of the, you know, brand new figure. Well, that half is under $100. <laughs> so I, I couldn't resist anymore. So I ordered her. Uh, she shipped out and I knew she was going to have a big box. But when I got the shipping invoice from DHL, I shat myself because it was like, you know, one and a half times the price of the figure. So I went with EMS. Now that we've spent a minute and 12 seconds on backstory, let's start getting this box open. And I will tell you the details, even though you probably already know them from the thumbnail and everything. But yeah, this is a big, big, big giant box. Since it was EMS, I can tilt it down because I removed the shipping label, which you can't do with DHL. So let's see. There. We have the new illustrated Ami Ami thank you card again. So you got Amiko and Lilico. Lilico's in the little tiger outfit. So yeah, they are doing illustrations again, at least this month, not a comic. Uh, on the back, we've got Amiko sitting on a little tiger again. So, yeah. So, there's some paper. And there is the box. Make it a mess already. So, there is a lot of extra space. You can see top, side, side, and bottom. But it is a big box. So let's go ahead and pull this out. And maneuver things out of the way. There we go, there's that. Yeah, okay. So I think this is supposed to be the front of the box. <laughs> so as you can see, it's Carol, yes, from Princess Connect Redive. So, yeah, Carol from Princess Connect Redive. She is a one seventh scale figure in a big giant box, manufactured by Furu, part of their F Next line. Uh, she was released uh, September twenty fourth of twenty twenty one. I ordered her on January seventh of twenty twenty two. Paid for her on the seventh. She shipped out on the twelfth, and I just got her today on the eighteenth. There's a holiday in there, so yeah, it happens. Uh, like I said, I ordered her AB pre-owned, which in my experience at AmiAmi basically means brand new. Like I'm looking and I don't see, yeah, she's never been open. The seals aren't cut. Uh, and I paid 10,980 yen for her, which is $99.02. Yes, she is under $100. You can still get a figure under $100 at AmiAmi, believe it or not. Um, the original price of a brand new figure was 200 or 20,680 yen. So, yeah, I mean, a little bit less than half price, but basically half price I got her for. Now, d ship when it comes to shipping, though, DHL would have cost 16,457 yen, or $148.41. Like I said, I about shat myself when I saw that. And I looked at the EMS, and it's still expensive, but it's at least the price of the figure. 9,620 yen, or $86.75. So, yeah. Um, this box is pretty boring. It basically says her name, 17 scale, and a little quote, Fine, I guess I can help you out. You better be grateful. And now everyone can make fun of me for saying it that way. Uh, on the top of the box, exact same thing. And the bottom of the box has some of the, 
you know, information labels. Uh, I did notice that the front opens, it is Velcroed shut. And now you can see the figure. So yeah, we got Carol. Um, I did finally see a unboxing video of her. I had to, you know, look up her name and Japanese characters and put that into YouTube. She is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. They had to use tweezers, so I got some tweezers for one of the pieces. But yeah, so far she looks pretty damn cute. Um, I've also seen reviews. I'm hoping this isn't going to be the case with mine, but some people have received her and her twin tails have been broken off. So hopefully that's not the case. And then uh, they've also said she is a pain in the butt to assemble and can be easily broken all assembling so we're gonna be careful uh, I did look and it does appear that basically all the magical effects that are the pain in the ass they are optional but if you're gonna buy this figure you're gonna buy you might as well just use them Come on, open open says me so pull this box the blister out it is a heavy-duty cardboard box. Uh, inside of the box, it's purple stripes, stars, and everything. The bottom is like a pe peach color. Got the Princess Connect Redive label and everything. We'll put this off to the side. And there is some instructions. And there is Carol and her blister packaging. So. Here are the instructions. Okay, it looks like it's... Okay, this is at least kind of in English. So you put her onto her base, you do some supports, put it into her hand, more supports, magic pieces, cautions, you can break things. This is the piece that they had to use tweezers on because it Looks like it plugs in into her inside of her sleeve. And there is the Japanese side. Um, unfortunately, Carol has a big giant dinner plate of a base, which as we spin her around, yeah, big giant white dinner plate of a base. So this is probably the main reason it's so big of a shipping box. And uh, I wanted to say I have had like a sore throat the past few days, so if I sound crappy or gravelly or whatever, that's why. But so far she looks cute. Boop, boop her nose. So yeah. Um, I'm looking, can't really tell because she is protected pretty well. But so far, I it looks like I am missing one twin tail. Damn it. Okay, well, let's get her open and we'll deal it with it. Hopefully some glue will fix it. So we're going to take her... Oh, there's tape on the top and probably the bottom too. Okay, so we can take her dinner plate of a base out. It also includes her wand and all the accessory pieces. I'm going to set her off to the side. And there's like the wand and the support rods and everything. So it is taped there. Uh, no tape on that side. So now I should be able to get it open. Put that blister piece over here. Uh, so we'll start. Okay, this is taped to the package. Why do they have to use tape? Come on. Okay, I have untaped that magical effect. And it's quite fragile. Put 
take that off to the side. Then all of her support poles are again taped to the blister. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Let's just get them all out. Then I will show them to you. The long ones are also taped at the top, so I'm just gonna try to slide them out. The first one worked, this one is being a bit of a pain. So yeah, we've got two long ones. One of them is a little bit shorter. Then we've got two shorter ones with little plastic holders on top. And then we have a plastic one with a holder on top for her, for her magic cane and everything. Magic wand, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's pull out the magic effects now. So again, I've read this is very fragile and it feels very fragile. So, Got to carefully remove the plastic from it. And I'm sorry if this is kind of crappy unboxing, but it is what it is. I've never claimed to be professional. So it is quite large and yeah, but very, like I said, fragile and wibbly wobbly. Uh, there's peg holes there for the middle pegs and then the other pegs just kind of support it up. So that there, put the plastic in the box. And then we have her magic wand. So this has bubble wrap. And, well, the magic wand is broken off, too. Yep, I think I understand why they're deciding to deeply discount this figure. Kind of sucks, because I, the F-Next line, but Fudu used to be, like, main, just a prize figure manufacturer. But they decided to start doing, you know, scale figures. And FNX is like their super expensive line. And things are breaking. <laughs> so, the book, at least, is quite detailed. It's got, like, rune writing. So I can't read it. Can't tell you what it says. But I'm sure it's a magical spell. It's got some crystals. It's got some jewels on the faces of the book. And I never really noticed. But Carol, being a cat girl has a kitty cat on her magic wand. And it's a long, long stick. It's blue, lighter blue and gradiented to a dark blue. And, I mean, it looks good. Uh, the magic effect. It's got a ball, pearl ball thing suspended in the middle of it. And there's just lots of runes and everything. And it looks good. I think a little bit of glue will work. But it's going to be going to be fiddly, so I will do this do it off camera when I'm doing like final assembly. So unfortunately, you're not going to get to see the full full assembled Carol. Okay, let's go ahead and put that to the side, and we've got more tape to cut. Pull out the dinner plate of a base. Come on. And we can put the blister off to the side now again. Uh, being a pre-owned figure, I doubt there's much I could do uh, with Amiyami. I mean, like I said, she was not never opened. So this broken shipping or in, inside the box, basically. So I will glue her back together and everything. So the base is basically the turntable is a foot. So it's basically a foot wide. It's got several holes in it and it's a plain white disc. Nothing exciting about the base at all. 
So now that we've got that, let's get ready for some more disappointment and get Carol out of the blister. So again, more tape. This is mostly on the corners. And everything's just so big it's getting in the way. This, kind of, this sucks. I was excited for her too. But it is one of the pitfalls of being a figure collector. They are very fragile and sometimes you get broken things. So there she is, and yes, one of the twin tails is broken off. Not very excited about that, but it sh looks to be an easy, easy enough fix. Some glue, and there is a metal pole, so yeah. Not happy about that. Might as well look at her twin tail first, since it's a separate piece. They have wrapped it in some foam wrap and taped it shut. Come on. Don't want to damage it any more than it already is. So... I mean, it looks good, at least. It's quite detailed. Paint's good on it. It's got the nice little curly cues at the tip. Set that down, put that off to the side. And then here is Carol. So, there's some, that foam paper in the front. And then in the back, she has a foam block holding her hair. So I think they knew there was going to be problems and they tried to mitigate it, but didn't quite do it for completely. Again, this piece of foam is taped, so we will cut that tape and be gentle and careful. Try not to break that twin tail off. So she is deplastic. So like I said, uh, there is her, where it broke off of her. Yeah, that little metal peg I think is too short. If it was a little bit longer, I think it would have provided more support. But it should be, it should be easy enough to fix with some glue. Uh, Carol has quite a bit of weight to her, even with only one twin tail. She has nice blue, or blue, she has nice green eyes and a big happy girl smile. She's got one little moe fang. She's got some blush. Uh, her bangs have some little shine accents to them. She's got one streak of white hair. She's got some fluffy ears with uh, gray tips. Top of the head, the seam line isn't bad. She's got her kitty cat tail with, a, again, a gray tip. Uh, good shoulders on her, good uh, armpit and side boob. She, she's not the most busty girl, but she's got some meat hidden under there, so that's nice. Like her sleeves, nice ruffly sleeves and everything. You got a little cutout showing off her elbow. Mm. She's making a little little sign with her fingers, you know, kind of pointing, She's snapping her fingers and doing her magical effect. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there is the peg hole that the one magical effect that they use, had to use tweezers on plugs into. She is showing off her belly button. Uh, paint on the jacket looks pretty good. Again... More of that poofy sleeve. Uh, she, this is the hand that she holds the staff in. And I think you just pry her fingers open and shove it in. She does have uh, her little necktie is kind of flapping in the breeze. It's pretty stiff. 
She does have some chains around her waist with little jewels. Nice purple skirt. Uh, white underskirt. She is wearing black ones. Nice simple black ones. Uh, she's got nice legs. Uh, one thing I kind of noticed, it, they kind of look a little stubby, but that's okay. She's not wearing like super high fuck me heels, but she is wearing little heels. So it, it does change the shape of the legs when they do that. She's got little pointy shoes, which, you know, curve up at the tip. Don't want to get kicked by those. That would hurt. And then she's got nice uh, coattails and everything. So, aside from being broken, she looks good and I like her. Um, just gonna fiddle. So, yeah, that that'll that'll go together okay. Kind of kind of stays a little bit, but that peg is just a little too short. So, I will fix that later. Uh, I may do, uh, I may delay this video uploading it and so that I can show you her once I get everything glued back together. So it may be a day or two, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, she's a little bit heavy. <laughs> so let's start assembling what we can assemble. I'm just going to set her down. I'm going to bring the base up. I'm going to bring the instructions up so I can kind of tell what what peg goes where. Um, so the plastic one is not keyed. And obviously the metal ones aren't going to be. So that's a bit of a pain because you have to line everything up afterwards. And I'm trying to shove this into the base and it's not... It goes in a little bit and it's kind of secure, but it's pretty tight. Um, let's see. We'll do the big metal pegs first. So I'm looking, D is the long one. Okay, this one is D. So D goes back there, I think. No. Uh, let's see. This is odd. Okay, so D goes in this one. C is the long but shorter one, and it goes in the back. And then we've got the little one, little ones with the little supports. So the shortest one is A, and that goes in the front. That goes in nice and easy. And then the medium one is uh, B, and that goes up here. Okay, um, I'm going to try to get the little handpiece attached before I actually put her onto the base because I think it'll just be easier if I'm holding her. So it kind of wraps around her hand. Oh, that, that actually went in pretty easy. So, okay. Got tweezers for nothing. So now I will put her into the base. Uh, she's got little... A clear support on that foot and then just a regular peg on that foot. Uh, did have to spread the leg just a hair. She goes in okay. Um, next I will put the broken staff into her hand. And honestly you don't even need that magical piece but it's going to add so much more to it. So let's see, tilt the camera up a little bit. Um, actually, I'm going to take this out, get my hair off of the stand. Just kind of. Hmm. Maybe I should have done this before I put her onto the base. Come on, Carol. Come on, Carol.
There we go. Just kind of squeeze it between her thumb and her finger and pry it apart a little bit and then it kind of snaps into place. Don't know if you even saw that because I was focusing on her and not on the camera. Get her back on. And I mean, doesn't really seem like you even need this piece. She holds it pretty securely and then it rests against her uh, sleeve. But they included it. I'm going to include it, put the support in as well. Um, I'm just trying to see how it's supposed to be. Okay, so it's supposed to be up there. Yeah, shove it into her hand a little bit more. There we go. That should hold it okay. And now we will try to put the magical effect on. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, so before I do that, I see we're at 26 minutes. Just as a precaution, I'm going to stop and start this so that I don't lose any video if the camera just shuts off. So I'll be right back. And you probably didn't even notice that. <laughs> so I'm going to actually put her up onto the turntable. Bring her closer. So now the magical effects go around her. And I'm going to start pegging them into the holes. Let me see. See if you can see that. Maybe we can focus on it a little bit. Okay, that one went on pretty easy. So now we are onto the front pegs. So this twists and turns pretty easily. So you can get it lined up pretty good. Over here this one again twists and turns pretty easily so you can get it lined up pretty good. And then over here the tip should wrap around her book. I just knocked it off of its stands. So we'll fiddle with those later, but the tip goes into a peg hole. I don't know if you can even see it on the spine of the book. So yeah, very fiddly. I can see why people said she is a pain in the ass to assemble. Okay, I've kind of got it in there. Let's go ahead and get the supports fixed again. <laughs> you get one on and then the rest pop off. <laughs> Yep, this is a royal pain in the butt. So if you ever are interested in getting Carol, just plan on some frustrations. Come on. I'm gonna look, okay, it does go on the front one. Okay, I think I've got it all assembled now. Let's go ahead and turn the autofocus back off. So there is Carol assembled minus her magical wand effect and her one twin tail. Ah, that's disappointing. But we'll look at her and see what we see. And then, like I said, I think I'm going to delay this and I will take a picture or append a piece, the 
after I fix everything, I'll append that to the end of this video. So hopefully we end on a high note. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, the figure itself looks gorgeous. Carol looks great. Her outfit looks good. She's just very fragile, and she broke in the box. Nothing I you can really do to prevent that because, I mean, she's got to ship across the country or across the oceans and everything. But, yeah, she looks good. And as I said, I got her AB pre-owned, so, I mean, I could try to open a case with AmiAmi. And they may, you know, they're usually pr pretty good. Uh, but since she was pre-owned, I don't know exactly how they would if they would do anything for me. So I'm think I think I'll just glue her and not mess with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So yeah. Uh just in case I get lazy and I don't want to add that, I'll go ahead and end this and then we'll come back to it. <laughs> so this is Carol. She is from Princess Connect Redive. She's a 1/7 scale figure manufactured by Fooderu. Part of their FNX line. Uh, she was released September 24th of 2021. I got her pre-owned AB quality at AmiAmi. The box was never opened. So AmiAmi, this is not on them at all. They packed her good. She's just very fragile. I pay, on the upside, I only paid 10,980 yen or $99.02. <laughs> Brand new, she would have cost two thousand six hundred or twenty thousand six hundred and eighty. You know, basically two hundred dollars, and then you would have to pay shipping on top of that. So, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm disappointed that she's broken. I'm not going to lie about that, but I'm sure once I get her glued up, I'll be quite happy with her. So yeah, like I said, just in case I don't depend on another piece. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. I'll see you soon. I do have more figures on the way. But hopefully I will see you with a fixed figure. Bye. Well, I got her magical effect glued back on. But, and I really wanted to end this video on a happy note. But, well, the twin tail, I could not get it to stay on. And when I went to put the super glue on, it so much came out of the tube I should have been more careful and not put it directly on the thing, but it, like, so much came out and it oozed down and you can't get it off once it's there. So, it is what it is. Um, I'm, I'm not disappointed with Carol. I think she looks good. I'm just uh, upset that, you know, she's broken and I fucked it up even more. I may try to buy some epoxy instead of super glue to see if I can get it to stay that way. But that's something for some point in the future not right now like i said i'm still i'm i'm upset i really wanted to end this on a happy note and like i said i'm not mad at her i like her carol is great the figure looks great even without her twin tail i mean you can't even really tell unless you know what you're looking for but i'll always know in the back of my mind it is what it is sorry to end this on kind of a downer but it is what it is Hopefully the next figures that are coming will be in one piece. I hope you enjoyed. I still say, as long as she's on sale, I mean, at least she was only $100, and she wasn't like $200, $300. If you like Carol, get her, but just get her on sale, and hopefully yours is in one piece. It's kind of funny. My Fox figure is in one piece, and this one's broken. But anyways... Again, sorry to end it on a downer. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye. Mm,